Hello and welcome to another episode of my daily move room videos and just wanted to show something else I picked up recently so this is from eBay I um, wanted some Lego bases because I had that Toy Story alien figure uh, didn't have a base and I wanted to put on one not as it doesn't stand up but I just wanted to put in a base and um, so I saw someone selling these these are official Lego so what, what they've done is they've they bought some of the minifigure sets and I presume they've taken these out and sold these individually or in this case they've, they've bought a pack of 20 I think, think there were probably um, different size sets available but um, yeah I'm sure they've got, they've got their money back from, from this and they've obviously sold the figures separately potentially about the bases or the bits of, or bits of them but yeah the kit I've just got a bunch of them together like that um, I don't really need 20 at the moment, but I thought I wanted one for that. But I've also got these Lego figures from when I was a kid. And um, I thought, you know what, the Lego figures, I'll display them. So I had a lot of these anyway, originally. I gave a lot of Lego pieces to charity. I probably would have kept them now because I could have built some other stuff for them. So I did build like, a little car thing I could have kept, but I'd get my But I kept not all the Lego men, but the ones that were different so this is a pirate one and some of them the faces had sort of faded off a bit scratched off so i gave those away but yes yeah, so i'll put one for that this is a knight i mean you can you can buy new head so i mean that's just a plain head that one's got a beard on but you can get new obviously get new replacement heads this one's like a builder so yeah his face was you can sort of see Coming off a little bit, but not too bad. I mean, these are some of these are probably like thirty years old anyway. Got another knight there, which is um, getting slight scratch on the body, but these are being played with, and it's got a different helmet. Um, this one again, like another knight. But he's got, um, I think, some of these had axes and things. I don't know. If they, I can't remember if they were in the part I gave away or. They got lost somewhere, but yeah, they did have axes and stuff in there, so probably wish I'd um, slide those. I mean, if they got lost before, then it's fine, but for them to tear up, then I'm wondering why because I, I did, I would have kept them with these figures, but yeah, again, it, it's a different, different pattern on the thing, and then different helmet. Obviously, he's got black on there, so I've put the black helmet on him, and he's grey, and he's got grey helmet. I don't know if this came in a set, like originally like a castle set or something, or they were just bought in the video deck, I can't remember now. So I didn't buy these. Got an astronaut here. And uh, you'll see a yellow astronaut with his yellow helmet. And we've got uh, a chef. That's. I don't know if there's like one with a chef's coat on or anything, but I've just put the chef helmet on this one because. The chef out on this one because obviously that was. Just have anything else on there, so but that's probably the best one really I could put it on. But I had some of the astronaut ones. One, I don't know if that's got a crack on there, but I had one with a crack on the helmet, and the ones I'd say faces will come off a little bit. But I didn't want to keep them all because I only wanted like you know, the different ones, didn't want to have three of those. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've got those on bases now, so I can display those in the other ones, obviously. They're not like these, technically like these Lego minifigures, but, you know, they're, all intents and purposes are the same. You know, the, the same design with the feet and the body and the, obviously they do like sight variations with the bodies, but on the whole, they're kind of a general design. So yeah, I've got some spare bases now. I'll obviously use one for the um, Alien Toy Story figure. And I've got that Star Wars one, which came with a, like a brown, like a two-piece base. I'll top that over for one of these. It's not the one it came with, but I want them all on the same sort of basis, and so. I didn't get the white ones. I don't know if there's any white ones available. I think these are the more common ones, but I went with the black ones because the majority of the ones I've got, I've got black bases anyway. I mean, I've got a white base, but yeah, I mean, probably make no sense of being on a black base. So yeah, I'll put these to my other ones, so I've got a nice little collection of these now. 
and um, rather than these being shoved in a drawer somewhere, which they were, I can actually give them out. That's the thing, I've got all these sort of things in drawers and things like I've got little keyring stuff, so I've been able to like, display those now. So these can free up some room then and actually get use out of them. But uh, and, and I think it's like, um, I can't remember, I've paid now probably £10 or something for these bases, or whatever it was, I can't remember the exact amount, but they weren't too expensive. And, um, there are proper Lego bases which I wanted, because they do uh, have like the knockoff sort of Lego stuff, but just, you know, on the proper, although they probably fit just the same, you do want the proper ones just for, just so they match and, you know, they, they do fit on there properly. But um, that's it for this video anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.